Did you know that by not being a food snob, you can save a lot of money and clean up a lot easier? Who would have thunk? Hey there, njroot22.com here with another vlog about cooking today. Uh, this sort of relates to low carb keto carnivore, but today we're gonna talk about copper pans. And I mentioned in the intro that uh, you know, there's a lot of food snobbery going on. Um, from the quality of food you eat and the kinds of food, clean eating they call it, organic eating, but that also translate in, translates into the food equipment and food preparation gear that is sold. Um, I guess once people become c cooking fanatics, they start uh, upgrading. It's like gamification for cooking. You know, having a regular pan is not good enough anymore, and then they have to keep upgrading, and they end up paying $1,000 for a pan. And it really makes a, no statistical difference, in my opinion. Uh, I do most of my cooking on one of these copper pans. Not the ones you see on TV, not uh, the ones they sell at the high-end department stores, the brand name. I buy this copper pan from Ocean State Job Lot for $14.99. And I think sometimes I even get it for free because they have some sort of weird, wacky deal. And it comes with a, <clears throat> a lid to put on it, like so. Uh, I use it mainly for eggs in the morning. It's a beautiful thing. The copper pans are great. They're not stainless steel. They're not uh, high-end, multi-layer, made in Italy pans, and they're not cast iron. Um, but one thing they do is cook amazing, especially for eggs. And I make eggs almost every day. Make a scrambled eggs on here, and you clean it up in like two seconds. The, it just you rinse it off. You, you wipe it with a sponge real quick and dry it off, and it's clean. It's it's. Um, aquaphobic or some sort of uh, omniphobic surface. I forget exactly what they call it, but nothing sticks to it. And I'm sure in 30 years they're going to tell us that we all have growths uh, on our face because it caused cancer or something like that. But I like this pan because it's cheap and you can spend 50 or or $100 on a higher end line model. I think uh, maybe one day I might investigate that, but th these things usually last me about two or three years before they you know, somebody might use the wrong utensil. This is a spare pan. My current pan is on the stove. But the, you might scratch it if you don't use a rubber uh, utensil or, you know, uh, whatever you call those uh, ingredients, uh, whatever that material is um, that's non-abrasive. Uh, non but we like it. I mean, the, there is a, a, a use for cast iron. Sometimes if you want to make a steak, uh, doing it on a cast iron pan, you know, you, you sear it real quick and then stick it in an oven for five or ten minutes. That's a nice way to make a, a steak. But we, I mean, I've cooked burgers on this, this pan and it uh, comes out just fine. Beautiful, in fact. So I like the 12 inch model. Uh, I've tried smaller ones, 9 inch, 11 inch. I've tried the thin ones. The thin pans are awful. I hate them because you spill everything over them. Maybe if you make pancakes, which, we, which I don't do, it might not be such a bad pan. But I like this deeper dish 12-inch uh, pan at uh, Ocean State Job Lot. So that's it. I, it's a great way to save money. It's easy as pie to clean up. And uh, there's really nothing to worry about. If you break it or if it gets busted, it's 15 bucks every three years. So I, I recommend these copper pans uh, for now, until some reason um, there exists that uh, not to. I can't even speak right. It, until someone tells me that, uh, or it's proven that it causes some sort of health damage. All right, have a good day.